How to travel with a cheap budget. Planning another trip this summer, but don't have the money to book expensive flights? Well, you're in luck and you clicked on the right video. Today, we'll be showing you tips and tricks on how to travel with a cheap budget, but still have the chance to settle in luxurious and expensive hotels for a week, or if you're lucky enough, more. Whether you want a cheaper priced hotel, a cheaper Airbnb, a cheaper flight, or just a cheaper travel experience overall, then keep on watching because we'll be listing down some ways to help you with your dream travel this year. I hope you won't forget to like, subscribe, and give the bell notification a big click in order to get some updates on new videos posted. Now, let's go on to the video. Okay, let's start with the most important part of traveling. How do we get from point A to point B? Well, transportation, of course. Whether you take the bus, train, or an airplane, you're still bound to waste quite a lot of money. So here are some ways to save some money and still have a comfortable trip to your destination. 1. Websites to find cheaper flights There are so many things that we can find on the internet that make our lives 10 times easier. Yes, there are downsides to it. However, for this hack, we should be thankful that discounted flight websites exist. Yes, you heard that right. Discounted flights. You could be riding a plane to your destination for half of its original price. Some website examples are Skiplagged, Skyscanner, TripAdvisor, CheapoAir, Jet Radar, and many more. However, you have to be careful with this method because it could lead to some complex situations. But worry not because these websites are easy to understand and all you have to do is understand the steps thoroughly. 2. Cheaper Airlines If you have a strict budget when traveling, budget airlines are the way to go. Yes, it will be a little difficult because of the limited comfortability of the airline. However, it is still an option and it won't cancel out your chance of traveling from point A to point B. 3. Alternative transportations that aren't planes there are so many alternatives that you could choose from if you aren't fond of airplanes. For example, you could ride the bus, which by the way is way cheaper than riding an airline. However, it is a little bit difficult because it isn't that accessible compared to an airplane. You could also take trains. Trains are another great alternative when transporting to another country or city. Trains are commonly used in Europe, for instance. You're from the United Kingdom and you want to travel to Paris? No problem. Just take the train and you will be good to go. Where do we stay? 1. Websites for cheaper hotels Today, we're lucky enough to have the internet to scrounge for discounted places. This website offers half the price of hotels, and not only that, but it also gives you half the price of the original. This may sound too good to be true, and if I was being honest, it actually does sound too unreal. You might be thinking, that's ridiculous. How can a 5 out of 5 star rated hotel be less than $400? Well, this website will show you all the unexpected possibilities. This website is called Hotwire. Hotwire's website is somewhat like a surprise party. You add your location and details about your stay, like the date and how long you're staying at the hotel. Then they search through all the hotels in that area and give you a mystery hotel. No, not a scary mystery one, but the hotel is simply a mystery. The hotel name would be revealed once you've booked it, and there you have it. Not only did you get a well-reviewed hotel to your liking, but you also got it for half its price. 2. Simple Airbnbs An Airbnb can be a little expensive. However, Airbnbs are more comfortable if you don't feel like booking into a hotel. You don't really need a three-story house to rent or a house with seven bedrooms. You simply just need the necessities. You don't have to go all out when renting an Airbnb. In fact, you can just find a simple one where all the necessities can be found. You should look for the basic ones when traveling. For instance, being near a convenience store or something that has a decent sized bedroom that can fit you or your whole family. Look for the necessities rather than the wants because even the simplest things can be the most comfortable and accessible. 3. Volunteering and Working there are so many ways to earn money when you're out of the country or traveling. There are so many accommodations that offer a job in exchange for a room. So what happens is you basically find a company or people who are willing to lend you a job and will be giving you a free room in exchange for your labor. This is one of the most efficient ways to travel due to the fact that not only does it help you earn more money, but it also keeps you active and you get a free room. Things to take note of. 1. Split the bill. 
If you're traveling with family, friends, or people you know, one of the logical things to do when traveling with a cheap budget is to split the costs. From hotels to cars to airplane tickets, practically the whole trip. Not only will this save everyone money, but it can even be the reason why everyone can enjoy a great trip because you wouldn't really have to worry about going over the budget. 2. Skip taxis as much as possible Taxis are possibly one of the most expensive options of transportation. You would save more money if you take public transportation like a train or bus. However, walking or riding a bike can also be a great alternative. It saves you money and helps our environment, which I believe is a win-win. That is all for today's video. Thank you for watching.